millions of Americans who could lose their health insurance. At town halls across the country, we have reported on Americans angry and concerned, asking questions about what will happen to their insurance. Tonight, the new independent report just out, looking at the new plan that just passed the House to repeal and replace Obamacare. How many fewer Americans will be insured in the next decade? ABC's Mary Bruce on the Hill tonight. For months, Americans have crowded town halls, voicing fear and frustration. President Trump and Republicans have already declared victory. This is a repeal and a replace of Obamacare. Make no mistake about it. And tonight, we finally know what the House health care bill could mean for you. The Congressional Budget Office releasing their report card, finding the bill could leave 23 million more Americans uninsured and reduce the deficit by $119 billion over the next decade. For some, their premiums could skyrocket. A 64-year-old making roughly $26,000 in some states could see their premiums climb nearly $12,000 or more. Shame, Those concerns shame, around the country shame, 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 fueled by last-minute changes to the bill that would allow states to opt out of guaranteeing coverage for basic health services like maternity care and even ambulances. And states could waive the requirement that insurers don't discriminate based on pre-existing conditions. Even Republicans admit that has to change. We've got to deal with pre-existing conditions in a way that we know will actually work for people. The report warning that over time, it would become more difficult for people with those conditions to purchase insurance because their premiums would continue to increase rapidly. It's far from a done deal. The Senate is now starting from scratch, and some Republicans are skeptical they will ultimately get this done. Are you confident that this is still going to get done? No. I think that's... No, it's, no I, I'm, I'm not confident. I think it's... Uh, I think it's... I don't know what the odds are, but I think it's going to be a tough call. And Mary Bruce with us live tonight from Capitol Hill. And Mary, now that these uh, new numbers are out, the Senate can finally get to work. But the path forward you were telling us earlier, not very clear. David, here in the Senate, there are serious concerns about this bill, even from Republicans. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell today admitting at the moment he doesn't know how he's going to get those 50 votes he needs to get this done. All right. David. Mary Bruce live on the Hill for us again tonight. Thanks, Mary.